guys welcome back to miss t's doll room and today we're going to make a faux leather background panel for some of my diorama scenes and the tools that we're using for well, the supplies are these daler rowney canvas panels they're 16 inches by 20 inches they come in a three pack from walmart for seven dollars and 97 cent i got this woven faux leather material from walmart um it was 9.97 for a yard and then we're using Elmer's spray adhesive, the extra strength, and some hot glue. So let's get the panels out of the packaging, and I'll show you how I'm okay. going to go about making so. those. This is the faux leather material, and I got it because it has this woven texture to it. I thought that would make an interesting background. So I'm going to spread that out. We're going to work from a corner that's already cut here because I don't need much so this is the front of the panel and what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut off the material that I'm going to use to cover this I want to leave about maybe an inch inch and a half around the border so it'll overlap on the back so I'll go ahead and All cut right. that off so we're just about done getting this piece cut out okay guys I have a better pair of scissors had to track them down so that makes life a lot easier and where my other scissors went I have no idea so much stuff has been moved around in this room lately so put that to the side now this is the front of the canvas panel here okay and so what I'm gonna do is spray some spray adhesive on top of that just to give this something to adhere to. Just real lightly. And then I just turn it over where I want it to go. And I'm going to turn this over. Make sure everything is pressed out flat. So when you're working with the spray adhesive, you better be fairly sure where you want everything to go because as you can see, it adhered to the felt background, felt, well excuse me, the felt backing of this as soon as I turned it over, which is what I wanted. Okay, that lifts me just enough to turn over the edges and that's what I'm going to do.
woven backdrop that we're going to use for our diorama. Okay, so you guys can see the texture in that. I think it'll make a pretty good background for a diorama scene. So give me a few minutes and let me get set up and I'll show you what my idea for this project was. Okay, and now I'm going to make a little piece of artwork to go on my black diorama panel. And so I have one of these little 4 by 6 canvases from the Dollar Tree. And I have some sterling silver curly paint. And I'm going to paint this canvas silver. show you what I wanted to use so a long time ago I bought these oriental dollhouse rugs from Amazon it's got a little turquoise in it and uh, the pillows I'm going to use for my diorama scene has some turquoise in it so I, I never found a purpose for it because it's too small for one six scale but it'll be fine as a tapestry to go across this so after the background dries then I will glue this to this canvas and we're going to use that for some wall art for this particular diorama and we'll be right okay back. our canvas is dry now looks like a beaten silver so I'm digging that because our furniture has silver in it so I'm just going to now take some hot glue And that's all I'm doing is just wrapping it around, tacking it on these sides. And so now we have, it's like a hammered silver background for the tapestry. So that's going to be a wall art for this project. Let's see if I can pull it a little tighter on this end. And if I decide to take it off, it's only adhered on the outside here, so it'll leave the canvas intact. Okay guys, so now we're back to build this little diorama. As I said before, we made the uh, faux leather woven background here and I'm really pleased with that we mounted that on a 16 by 20 canvas art panel and I'm using the blank canvas art panel this white wall for the side wall and then I made one of those uh, jumbo popsicle stick wood floors for a while back it's not the best job but I'm going to cover it up with rugs so we'll go ahead and do that so I'm using these white fur rugs one of which I got from a Fashion Royalty uh, Barcelona sofa set. And then this other piece, they sell these little squares in Michael's and Hobby Lobby over by the felt section. So it's just two little pieces of the fur rug that I put down for the flooring there. And then I want to show you some other pieces of diorama furniture that I managed to um, uncover and repurpose. So this was a Barbie daybed set. It came in a set with a Barbie doll on it and everything. And when I saw it, I liked the railing of it. And I said, oh, that would be so pretty if I would 
repaint that so I did repaint that in a metallic silver and then you can see where I did attempt to spray paint it white to take away some of the pink but I wasn't successful so what I ended up doing was using some batting I put two rows of batting on there I had some leftover white velvet and I covered the seat and it's one of the best upholstery jobs that I've ever managed to do as far as repurposing um, Barbie furniture so I'm, I'm quite pleased with it and then to finish the edge I put a little ribbon of um, silver ribbon to edge it to you know so you wouldn't see where I glued down the um, white velvet and to finish off the edge so I'm quite pleased with that so we're gonna put this here on the back wall it's like a little settee and then here's a lamp let me show you this lamp I've been carrying this lamp around for years I'm pretty sure this lamp was made by JC uh, dream designs so I'm gonna put that over in the corner here so we have a lamp there and then my friend Carol I think she bought this from JC dream designs because the material exactly matches he has an Etsy store and um, his name is John Pruitt and he made this chair so Carol sent me this chair to share it with me after she saw my uh, chairs video so I'm gonna put that on this white wall to make things pop here and then we have some pillows that we're going to use to put on the couch to stage the couch and these are the uh, aqua pillows that came with the fashion royalty lounger the sofa set so we're going to use those because this goes with my color scheme and then I have some fur pillows these came from a mycene play set years ago I'm gonna put those in between here and then these came with, I think it was either the black sofa, Fashion Royalty Barcelona sofa set. So we'll put those over here. And now we have our sofas. And, you know, I made this artwork here. I painted the canvas silver, one of those little Dollar Tree 4x6 canvases. And I had this little one twelfth scale um, oriental rug. And so I've put some double-sided tape here, see if we can get it to stick to this wall. So I wanted to put that above the sofa. There we go. And we have another piece of artwork. I found these frames in a museum a really long time so I painted they were gold I painted the uh, silver the frame silver and I put a little picture of Monet's water lilies in here and we have some double-sided tape so we're gonna see if we can get that to stick to this wall Hopefully that'll stay up. And I found another little fur poof. So we're going to lay that in that chair. And then as far as my table is concerned, we have a coffee table. So this was a little blue uh, Fashion Fever piece, I think it was. So we're going to, I painted that silver as well, chrome. Here. So we're going to use that this as a tabletop and see if we can fix our picture here. It happens all in the... The name of playing. See if I can get that to stick there. Okay. Let's see. Wish me luck. Alright, so here's our coffee table here. And if you guys have been following me on Instagram for the, you know, last week or so, we got a 3D printer. So my honey. 3D printed me these contemporary candlesticks and um, I spray painted these. I've just had a good time spray painting 
doll furniture and accessories in the last week. So I made these candles out of, they're just pieces of glue sticks. And I really need to get some candles. We have some uh, white PLA coming so I can print the tapers in the appropriate sizes. But this is all I have right now so this will have to do. There we are. We have the white faux glue stick tapers. Well, not tapers. They are the pillow candles. So this was what I envisioned for my little scene here. But I am pleased with my black background. I'll leave this up for a couple weeks and take some pictures. And let's see. This is the doll who was the inspiration for this background scene i think she looks perfect in these colors you know she has the blue in her shoes it's not exact match but i think this is a perfect background for this mademoiselle margaret jolie okay guys so after my artwork malfunction i managed to get that picture on the wall with some hot glue and hopefully i'll be able to take that off that wall and won't leave any marks so i can use it for another project but i did add some other things to the scene, I added these cloisonne jars here. I found them on eBay. They were a set of two ginger jars. And I put that plant from a previous video in the corner because I forgot to add a little greenery to liven up everything. I managed to get those candlesticks to stay on the table using double-sided tape. And I used the uh, double-sided tape to get the pillars to stay on top of those candlesticks. And I added this little cloisonne ginger jar as well give things a little pop of color for some decoration I am very pleased with my original artwork here my silver and turquoise tap tapestry painting love the texture on that background wall y'all can see the woven texture on it love that and I am absolutely thrilled just thrilled 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 with my Barbie daybed upholstery project that it's taken me three years to finally complete and I love Miss Mademoiselle Margaret Jolie she is sipping on her martini just chilling on her settee after a long day of modeling in Paris so that is the theme for this particular diorama project I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed the video if you have not subscribed, then please subscribe. And please give me a thumbs up because that really helps my channel. And don't forget, y'all, to check out my t-shirts at teespring.com. It's in the description box below. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free. If I can share anything with you, I'm always happy to do that. Isn't she just gorgeous? Beautiful, beautiful doll. Love her Parisian living room. I'm going to take some pictures and then we'll be on to the next project and I'll see you in the next video. Y'all take care. Bye.